go ahead and get ready to bring it out. <clears throat> Appreciate the prayers. Still dealing with dry voice, dry throat, but nevertheless, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, still pushing. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. Brother Neil La Paya. Shalom, beloved Malak. GMS Gabar Adama. Shalom, Rakata. The beloved King Andre Suri Yahawashai. Shalom, Rakata. And brother Paratamban Yahawada. Let's get into it. <clears throat> So, we're seeing a lot of media frenzy and attention given to what's happening to Kyle Irving, Nick Cannon, speaks out on his behalf, but yet does not defend the original position that he had, speaking about Nick Cannon. So he just says there's nothing anti you know, S-E-M, about Kyle Irving. But Nick Cannon never goes back and defend his original stance on who are we. <laughs> so when you think about these weak men, what's that shave head, light skin, tall, weak man with no backbone, that plays basketball, he's retired. And the other tall gorilla looking Negro, what are their names? Somebody help me out. <clears throat> One of them is light skin, bald head, no backbone. I need your help, brothers. Charles Berkeley, thank you. And there's another tall Sasquatch, shaved head, dark skin, his counterpart. So, what's my point? You can't go off what somebody looks like. These are weak men. They're not defending what they know to be the truth. Yeah, Shaq. It's my duty to please that anyway. Inside joke. <laughs> Shaq, you damn right. Anyway, <clears throat> these are weak men. No backbone. They don't stand up for truth's sake. They're not supposed to. They've already signed their name in blood with Amalek, the little small hats. <coughs> Shalom. Barak Tagihawa. Barak Tagihawa Shai. Call Halimla. Yahawa. Bahashem. Yahawa Shai. Bahashem. Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahawa. In the name of the Son. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hope of the elect that have scattered abroad. Double honor and respect to your elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Let's get into it. Yeah, LeBron James, about six foot eight, no backbone, scared. Charles Barkley, Shaq, they look masculine, but when you think back to the commission the Most High gave to the prophet Samuel, he said, don't choose according to appearance. So the Most High is looking at the inward man, the inward men. The spirit bears witness. So he's using the men that he has already anointed with his spirit. So Prophet Samuel probably would have chosen 
the oldest son of Jesse, the firstborn, or looked at who was the biggest or brightest in his mind. So the Most High is sifting and choosing those that have already been anointed, marked with the Tawah, exemption from judgment. You don't care if you're six, nine, can dunk a basketball. You're still bending over for Amalek, the little small hats. They just took down Elder Monotazak's channel. <clears throat> you think that channel had 10,000 subscribers. Many of Elder Apostle Gabar's channel, channels were taken down. I think he's on his ninth or tenth channel. I mean, I remember the first channel I had. That was taken down. Followed by the second channel, taken down. So this truth is consuming the wicked. It's consuming the workers of iniquity. It had 14,000 subscribers. The original channel, 14,000. But anyway, it's not about the subscribers, but the most important thing is the elect is being sealed. And the devil knows that when the elect is sealed, it's time to throw down. All the games like that gorilla that went up into the face within two inches of Elder Monoxazot's face in South Carolina. Got within inches of his face. All you gorillas are going to see the terror from the mighty men of King David. It's been prophesied. It's coming. I mean, you know about the story of the brother in Africa. He had supernatural abilities. Look up the black, the black Jesus story <clears throat> out of Africa. It's called the Black Jesus Story. There was a man from the tribe of um, the Igbo tribe, if I'm not mistaken, out of, out of Nigeria. Guess what he said before he left? Several more of us are coming, and you're not going to be able to stop us. That's what he said. <laughs> So the cabal tried to conceal the story. It leaked out, and a man wrote a book on it. He said, several more of us are coming in the future. Now, when this incident took place, I think it was in the 60s. Yeah, I think it was late 50s, early 60s. They tried to cut his heart out. They tried to cut his neck. They shot him. They cut him in pieces. He kept regenerating, coming back. They threw him out of a plane. So the mighty men of the tabernacle of David are going to return. Most of them are here. But there is a spiritual realm, a component coming from the fourth dimension. I mean, I remember the dream that I had. <coughs> These ships. They landed. I had never seen them land before. When they landed, these beings jumped out. Automatically, I started fighting with them. I automatically knew what to do. All the games, listen, all the butch women, butch women and broke back men and game sayers, mockers and scoffers, it ain't going to be any more negotiating. Or trying to look up words to convince you what we're teaching. Right now, the sword is this word pursuant to Hebrews 4 and 12. But Jeremiah 16 and 16 is coming. All you gorillas, chimps, orangutans, all of you that are in bed with the devil, all the grace and games. It's over. All right? Eve, two snaps, and they'll talk to the hand. And listen, all that is going to be a thing of the past. Talk to the hand. See, the caveman taught this savagery. Silverback ninjas, 
they all got to go. So there's going to be a bonfire for all you freaks and reprobates. It's coming. Let's read this. Brother Andre serving in Havashai, <coughs> Sirach 27, verse 28. Mockery and reproach are from the proud, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. Why is it a lion? The tabernacle of David led by the lion of Judah. They make mockery of the men of the Lord. Look up the movie Wizard of Oz. The lion act like a damn a, a Muppet baby. Scared. Scared of his own shadow. A little lap dog bit him. He starts screaming like a little pansy. You know? So that represents Judah. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down and crouched as a lion. But as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? So Judah is being roused up. And believe it or not, the Most High is using Kyle Irving. Even those that are not prophets are being used. Many are called but few are chosen. So, believe it or not, on the low level, even the two-thirds are being revved up, not realizing they're being led by the Spirit resonating out of the house of David. This truth, where you think Kevin Samuels came from? A red pill movement. Men going their own way. Or Mecca. Brother Andre serving Yahweh Shai, Isaiah 19, verse 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts. Because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts. That's this doctrine being taught. Because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. The water king. So this doctrine, it moves the elements. It shapes and shifts our mind. So this is a heavenly counsel from on high. Ministering spirits. What are the prophets? Ministering spirits. What is the Holy Spirit? A council of angels. So the brothers in Nigeria are being revved up. Brothers in Asia, Arabia, the Middle East, South Africa, North Africa, the Sub-Saharan, Central America, North America are being revved up. Starting with the vibration of Judah. Judah carries a strong masculine spirit. A spirit of austerity. Which is the spirit and mind of Yahweh Shai. So the spirit is shaking things up. Even the low level Jakes are waking up to something again out of order. Out of sync. Brother Pillars of Benjamin, Joel 2 and 29. And also upon, oh, we gotta go up. There's gotta be more, yep. Yeah? Brothers on point. Joel 2 and 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. So the men of the Lord are seeing visions. The ground opening up, swallowing wicked jakes and wicked cave beasts, Edomites. Swallowing the transgressors, the wicked. 
seeing fire coming down from the skies, seeing chariots land. Joel 2 and 29. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Everything is set. And I see a note on the Gabar Dama said, shut your mouth. What happened? Yeah, so everything is set and centered around the last days, which comprise of a sequential order of prophetic events leading up to the M to the O to the T to the B and Jacob's trouble. So there is a buildup. Every movie has a what? A period of suspense. So this is a buildup of events. Famine, the man of sin being revealed, which start with the little Tic Tac hats, the small hats. Look like they jumped out of the series in living color. So the man of sin is being revealed. In every movie, the culprit, the villain, the antagonist gets revealed. His plot, his scheme, his mischief that he's working behind the scenes. So Esau, Edom is on the ropes trying to block and dodge, you see, and defend himself against a spiritual onslaught over 100,000 videos of truth has been removed from the men of the Lord from YouTube by the men of the Lord so 100,000 truth videos teaching this doctrine approximately removed hundreds of thousands of channels removed so this is a spiritual consumption what does that mean? We're witnessing an altar being built in the midst of Babylon or that place, that spiritual Sodom in Egypt. They're being consumed by the living, breathing word, which is a consuming fire. See, let's go here. This is one of my favorites. Now I'm getting hot. This Bible is an amazing book. Are oh, you thinking they're taking down videos? Shadow Ben, Elder Monopazar, the latest victim, with all types of breast videos and booty shaking videos. They get to stay up. Eve doing this and talk to the hand. All that gets to stay up. Money, hoes, and clothes, all a nigga knows. Rap videos. The most high and killed almost 500 of you stinking rappers over the last two years. The most high is on the road. While this truth is going out, you're still promoting vomit and poison, poison in the minds of our youth. Let's go to Deuteronomy 4. The most high is absolutely amazing. So cleanup is occurring. Why? Because the word is gushing through like an overflowing scourge. It's cleaning things up. All the wickedness and dirt is being revealed. Cannot escape this flood of living waters. Let's read this about how is the devil being revealed. <coughs> Or the Andre servant Yahamashah, Obadiah, verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Because the light of this glorious gospel, this wisdom, that's how we're able to see this devil. So he's being made bare. The little hats can no longer hide themselves, claiming to be us. Look up the Jewish encyclopedia. One that comes to mind right now is 1971 
volume 10, verse 23. It tells you that they began to call themselves us as early as 1860. They started calling themselves us. What else is significant about that date? Between 1820 and 1865, the Bible Destruction Group, activated by a small hat, began to take out the Apocrypha. Apocrypha or crypt means hidden. Apocrypha, hidden books. As early as 1820 to 1865, which reveals why we were being called Greeks. For about 400 years, we were under the Greek captivity. So the Bible Destruction Group, they are a council of wizards, warlocks. So they, they're led by spirits, demonic spirits. Demon means an intellectual being. So they worship demonic spirits that directed them to remove the Apocrypha, telling them, listen, the Israelites are going to wake up in the last days. Remove the Apocrypha. Let's go here. So the Edomites, the high-level global elite, international bankers, they worship these multiple gods or demonic spirits. Why you think Ephesians chapter 6 was written? You don't think Paul knew this? Sure Paul knew it. Paul said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Well, these Edomites are wicked as hell. Or to Deuteronomy 4. So everything is centered around the latter days. Deuteronomy 4, verse 26. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. This happened to the Israelites. Destroyed. Taken down by the Edomites, by the Romans, and dispersed. Deuteronomy 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. The Lord scattered us. The Lord dispersed us. The Lord put the woman over the man. The Lord did it. Raised up the base man, the cave beast. Now he's ruling, living in palaces. Look up the Rothschilds' palaces or homes. The Oppenheimers, the Vanderbilts, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Rockefellers. See? So a base man was raised up. What is that scripture? Daniel 4 and 17. The Lord took this man out of the caves and decked him with scarlet and purple, precious stones and jewels. Pearl and gold and silver. No Evelyn Rothschild is dead. Let's keep going. Deuteronomy 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. Beautiful. Let's read this. Brother Malachi Obadiah Shalom Barakatha. 1 Kings 22 and 17. 
And he said, I saw all Israel upon the hills as sheep that had not a shepherd. And the Lord said, These have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. So it was prophesied we would be scattered. There would be a falling away first. Israel must be thrown down first in order to be raised up, in order to be gathered back together, rebuilt as one nation, indivisible, undivided, under the tabernacle of David, led by the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Deuteronomy 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve other gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. The golden retriever with blonde hair and blue eyes. We were told that's Jesus and to bow down to him and be a good boy. Big mama at home when we got masculine or tried to stand up and put our foot down. She would just point to Jesus on the wall and tell us we're getting out of line. Or during the slavery days, she would go let master know we're not being compliant. We're being too aggressive. It's time to be reminded of our place again. Castration, wit, pain. See? So these other gods were forced upon us. Along with Queen of Heaven worship. So we're under a queendom. This is not a kingdom at all. They bow down to the queen over in England. So we're under a revised British monarch, which leads the Club of Rome, a secret organization. So this is the emergence or the rebirth of the first beast, steering the United Nations, NATO. Deuteronomy 4, verse 30, or 20, 28. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But if from thence Thou shalt seek the Lord thy God. Thou shalt find him if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So there's a website that Elder Apostle Tahar showed today. And the scripture that came to mind is when you begin to see the fig trees blossoming. When I looked at all the camps on that website, all these camps teaching truth. I saw in my mind fruits, different hanging fruit as he was scrolling down, showing me these brothers setting up camp. So these are the fig trees Yahweh spoke about. Blossoming, blooming, producing more fruit, more flowers. This is not talking about the men that's sitting on the sideline. You're going to be broken up and cast into the fire. If you're a naked tree where branches all out, you ain't doing nothing. You got to go. All you weak men, you're going to be cleaned up, cast into the fire. No weak man is going to enter into the kingdom. The effeminate, scared man, like Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, about 7'10", weighing about 400 pounds, and scared, bowing down to the small hats. So you weak men got to go. You got to go. 
No masculine women either. Eve. Talking about talk to the hand. You got to go too. So the kingdom is going to be cleaned up. Right now we're in the animal kingdom. Welcome to the animal world. All types of savage beasts. Men, women, and children. Let's go into this beast we're talking about. See? As is the ruler, so are the people. So Esau, Edom, is the real nigga, the real beast, the great red dragon. So you got many Israelites following this devil. Eve admires him because he wills power. He has dominance. He's got a military. He owns the international banks. So Eve is attracted to his power. But this man is the devil. Brother Gabar Dama, Romans 12, verse 1. I thought that was Revelations 12, going into this beast. Let me go ahead and pull it up. <coughs> Revelations. So this is not talking about a real dragon coming out of the water and roaring and blowing flames. It's talking about a man with low morals, an immoral man. Revelations 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. So the daughter of Zion, those 12 stars represent the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why when you read in Revelation 21, the kingdom has 12 gates. Revelation 21 and 12. A whole book is a so-called African, so-called Negro, Native American, Latino heritage book. This is the heritage we need to have each month. Not no damn African American month or Native American month. The Bible is our heritage. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. So the daughter of Zion gives birth to the new nation of Jacob, the new kingdom, and through her, the Messiah is born. Yahushua. Let's keep going. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Why is she crying? The birth pains which precede the birth of a nation. They made a movie out of this. Listen, the global elite little tic-tac, small hats, they know what the hell is going on. Birth of a nation. It's going to come with what? Great tribulation. So the daughter of Zion is travailing as a woman giving birth. And there appeared another woman in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. First we read about the daughter of Zion. Remember, the Most High is a director, a movie director. We got what? The protagonist. What is the protagonist? That's the innocent, the righteous, the elect of the daughter of Zion. Now we're seeing, and there appeared another wonder in heaven, a kingdom or realm of rulership. Now a great red dragon. Who came out red? A little red screaming baby looking like a damn crying candy apple. That's Esau. And his, not just Esau, but his dominion that was cultivated.
cultivated out of Rome, Europe. So Germania Major, Germania Minor, Greece, Rome, France, Spain, and Great Britain. These are the kingdoms of these red beasts. Now, they're ruling as a federation of nations, the European Union, NATO, led by the Club of Rome. Look it up. The international bankers. See, now we're reading about the antagonist. That's the devil. When you go into that word serpent, it comes from the Hebrew nakash, which means a sorcerer. These little small hats are wearing little magician hats. They all worship demonic spirits, warlocks, wizards. Why do you think they made the movie Wizard of Oz? Who is the wizard? That's the small hats. Come on, man. They made Jake a scared lion, scared of his own shadow. And Dorothy said, have you tried counting sheep? He said, yeah, but I'm afraid of them. I mean, come on, man. That's most of you Jakes. Look at Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, if you were to meet him, you're thinking you're staring at Goliath. But this nigga is weak. Charles Barkley, looking like a shaved head, overgrown, light-skinned baby, and scared. These are not men. These are mice, rodents. They're not men. Look up the, remember the movie Wizard of Oz. The poppy fields, that's used in what? Pharmacia comes from what? I mean, pharma, pharmaceuticals come from the Greek. Pharmacia, which means witchcraft. Yeah, Charles Barkley, soft as baby poop. Yep, straight up. I ain't scared of him. Or Shaquille O'Neal. You ought to be ashamed of yourself to be that big and scared. But if these weak men go to prison, they're going to be hand-washing another man's drawers. These men are weak. <clears throat> so we're reading about the antagonist now. Another wonder in heaven. Revelations 12, verse 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. So these are these Edomite kingdoms of rulership that I've already spelled out to you. Verse 4. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And this also goes back to Herod, which is a red baby, an Edomite. And now in modern times, when you fast forward, it is the remaining last ruling empire, Idumea that we read about in Isaiah 34. So now you have the international bankers and their global enterprise waiting to devour the remnant of Jacob. Elect is not the Israelites waking up. Are we not witnessing the birth of the nation of Jacob? So now you have the international bankers awaiting or posture to strike. A serpent does not just randomly strikes. He waits. If you ever watch a cobra, he's waiting and studying your moves. That's why they're monitoring our channels, taking down videos. And he, at the most opportune moment in time, he strikes. See? So this great red dragon is a global network. How did he, let's go back to this. 
Revelation 12, who is that third part of the stars of heaven? Revelation 12, verse 4. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Exactly. So the southern kingdom was still intact. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The northern kingdom had already been dispersed around 722 B.C. So the dragon's strength is in his tail, which metaphorically represents his military. I mean, no different if you ever walk up against an alligator, that tail will knock your ass out, unconscious. Watch the tail. You focus on his teeth while he's opened up. And next thing you know, a roundhouse slap knocks you out with the tail or he hits your legs. So that's this man's military. And he took down Jerusalem and scattered the southern kingdom. <clears throat> so this man is postured as a serpent right now in these last days, waiting and observing the remnant that are waking up, that are coming out of the graves, that are being born again. Why do you think Yahweh Shai said to that uh, high priest, we must be born again? <clears throat> Sleazy E ain't worried about the two-thirds, the walking dead, walking around with their mouth open, with dry lips, while flies are flying in and out. He's not worried about them. He's worried about those that worship Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that fear his name. See, let's keep going. Now she could, she just said shallow love. All right, let's keep going. Or the fisher turned hunter. Matthew 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. See, so the kingdom of heaven in its natural state is the nation of Israel. So the stars fell from heaven by the great red dragon that took down Jerusalem. Oh, I know you can see it as clear as day. So the elite, they can see who the remnant of the hopeful elect is. Who's buried in these scriptures, David? Who believes in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? See that? Yeah, it's clear. It's clear. They don't care about the bug outs. They're after the remnant. It's right here. From the Andre serving in Hamashai. Revelations 12, verse 17. And the dragon was rough with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahawashai. Amashiach, the elect. So the, the dragon, which is this global enterprise comprised of the United Nations militaries. China has a contingency or a contingent in New York. Three locations in Toronto. They own a half a million acres of U.S. farmland. So these United Nations and NATO, that's the dragon. I mean, we use this term today loosely. The organization that I work for is a beast. I work at the corporate headquarters. We still use this language today, not knowing what we're saying is biblical. It's a biblical expression, no different. So we're talking. 
talking about a demonic organization. The last leg of the Roman Empire, which is a beast of an organization. No morals. They push the ABCD EFG agenda. They push child sacrifice, drinking blood to live long, to live out their years. No bans in their death. They push feminism, women over the men. Badass kids are all right. Just put them in timeout. We got kids murdering their parents. But the devil says, just count to 10. Put them in the corner and count. You devils are on borrowed time. Hence, they created TikTok, which is spiritual in itself. Because the time is clicking or ticking away on this great red dragon. This man got to go. Shawan beloved Malak, Fisher turned hunter. Second Edges 16, verse 50. So shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face. So the daughter of Zion is being dressed up. The elect is emerging and dawning the beautiful white robes and ornaments of royalty, beauty. Second chapter 16, verse 50. So, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face. When he cometh, that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth. 2nd Ezra 16 and 51. And therefore be ye not like thereunto, nor to the works thereof. We must be born again. So righteousness is springing forth through the remnant that are falling back on the word in the latter days. See, let's go back. To Deuteronomy 4. So this great whore is the daughter of Babylon. She envies the daughter of Zion that's being cleaned up, donning the white robes, putting on the ornaments of salvation, and being dressed in righteousness, clothed with the word of truth. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 4. See, watch this. Deuteronomy 4, verse 29. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou shalt seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Repent. Come, come back to sorrow. Or make supplication. That's what repent means. Literally begging. Watch this. Deuteronomy 4. Verse 30. When thou art in tribulation. And all these things. Are come upon thee. Even in the latter days. If. Thou turn to the Lord. Thy God. And shall be obedient. Unto his voice. If, who's doing that? The remnant is who the international bankers fear. The remnant elect. If, only a remnant in America is going to do that. And you have scattered elect that are doing that around the world. See? So yes, this was written in the Old Testament. But most of the prophecies come out of the Old Testament. <coughs> Deuteronomy 4, verse 30. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, 
even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God and shall be obedient unto his voice, for the Lord thy power is a merciful power, he will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swear unto them. I thought the covenant was done away with. I thought his children of Israel were done away with. No, that's a cut. That covenant spells out the contract of salvation for the Israelites in the latter days. If thou turn unto him, repent. So the remnant is doing that. We read it. I like to teach old to new, new to old. You can't dismiss any of the Bible because that's trying to crucify or cut in half the Messiah or the Word who comes in the volume of the book. So they fear those that fear Yahweh Bahashim and Hawashai. I'm going to say that Again, the international bankers fear those that fear Yahweh, the Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's who's going to be saved. Let me go to Psalms 22. Because they know, touch not mine anointed, neither do my prophets any harm. The devils believe also and also tremble. Somebody get that in James 2. Somewhere around 18 and 19. Don't think, don't think for a moment the Rothschilds don't fear. They do, but they're not sincere. Their soul is not right. They lack integrity. They just want to steal and kill and destroy to get what they have. They want to build an artificial kingdom, a man-made tabernacle of David. They're carnal-minded, so don't get it twisted. They don't fear Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai, but they are afraid of these prophecies. Great fear is falling upon them that see us. Us who? The remnant of the hopeful elect. See, let's read this. Beautiful. Brother Ariyah Cha'ayah, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 13. He professeth to have the knowledge of God, and he calleth himself the child of the Lord. So these are the wicked, their thoughts. Their thought processes, how they look at us. Where's on Solomon 2, verse 15? He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So we're not like these cave beasts. I love to drink blood and molest children. Eve still respects this animal because he's in power. I had a, a stepsister who married a drug dealer because he was one of the biggest drug dealers in New Jersey. He would beat her ass, mess with other men's women, and she still respected him. Eve reveres and respects those that she truly loves and fear them. Don't get it twisted. It's called reverent fear. Look that up. Reverent fear. Eve respects power, force, fear. She feared the man that she truly respects. So she fell in love with this drug dealer. All he did was whoop her ass. She still fell in love with him because of his power, influence. And then Sleazy E took him down. Told you, E, you'd rather follow the devil rather than the righteous men. 
See, let's read that again. Brother Ariyacha Ayal, Wisdom of Solomon 2, verse 15. <clears throat> he is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. The remnant, the hopeful elect, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated. We are the world. We are the children shall be separated from thy bow, and the elder shall serve the younger. We were never meant to be united under the beast or riding the beast. What do they say when you become a mason? I mean, you know, you got to ride the what? You got to ride the beast. It was time to repent, daughter of Zion, Israel. Stop riding the beast. And they also say what? In order to cross over, you got to ride the goat. Who is the rough goat in the Bible? Amalek. Alexander the Greek. Esau. I wish I was making this up. So it's time to stop committing spiritual fornication, adultery, riding the beast, the system. The Most High is a jealous power and wants us to respect and fear him above all gods, above the gods of the nations. Stop riding the beast, riding the goat. A lot of you Jakes, you're okay with doing that. You embrace the A, B, C, D, E, F, G agenda and spiritual fornication. You love, you love the other gods. You love it with a damn chicken bone and a candle lit on your plate and a slice of birthday cake. Pouring wax, candle wax out to the gods or to our ancient ancestors. You know who you are out there. I don't have to come find your ass. You know who you are, worshiping the gods or our ancestors, all right? With a damn chicken bone on your plate. You know who you are. Yup, or the Ariyatra Agal, Deuteronomy 4 and 24. For the Lord, thy power, is a consuming fire. Even a jealous God. Exactly. <clears throat> so the remnant is those that fear the most high that are going to be saved. Let's prove that. Let's go to Psalms 22. The book of Psalms, chapter 22, verse 22. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. I thought his name didn't matter. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. See, so the global elite have the remnant in their crosshairs. But the Most High is laying a snare for you. You better read what happened to the hosts of the ancient Egyptians. Hosts mean armies. You better do your research on what happened to Pharaoh's chariots and his army, his cavalry, his infantry. You better read and study, caveman, of what happens when you come against the apple of his eye, the remnant of Israel, elect. You better do some more research and homework, cave animals, because when you come up against the Lord's elect, it's on, it's on. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye, 
the seed of Jacob. Glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. So he's going to persecute those that fear the Lord. That's where? That's in 2nd Ezra's chapter 16. So the Bible fits together like a hand and glove. Let's get one more. i to close out. <coughs> um, I'm going to go to Psalms 85. It's right here. Psalms 85, verse 7. Well, we got to go to verse 6. Will thou not revive us again? We must be born again. See? <clears throat> Psalms 85 or 6. Will thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. Thy people. Let's see if this is for everybody. Psalms 85, verse 1. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Jacob is being brought back to rulership. He's reversing the curse of the slavery, the captivity of your people. Hmm. Psalms 85 or 7. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them turn, uh, but let them not turn again to folly. Repent. So that's being washed by the word, becoming a new creature. So when we, when we die, so this flesh has to die. But we're being regenerated through the spirit of truth. So when we die, we kill the old man. Yes, the old chapter passed away. And we come back in the third and fourth generation. So the body must die. Lust, envy, murder, wrath, malice, adultery, but being reborn in the spirit, this doctrine. So that is the ultimate essence of love because following this doctrine is against adultery, murder, Envy, wrath, malice, see? So we know how to recognize each other through the spirit. Yeah, that's a member of the hopeful elect. That individual is not. She is a member of the hopeful elect. That individual is not. Because the spirit bears witness. My pookie. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out. One moment. So hopefully, this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukat Kadash. Double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. <clears throat> Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. We got next, Lord willing. This man is against the ropes. And he's backed up into a corner. But a wild, savage beast that's backed up into the corner 
is going to come out swinging. Jacob's trouble, tribulation, and he's going to push his dog tags, his electronic device. That's his dog tag. So that we can be tagged and tracked, monitored, and under surveillance 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So we are rapidly approaching that time. Joe Biden put a mark on the wall December 13th when they want to begin to make the transition from the old monetary system, the U.S. petrodollar, and introduce a new digital currency. We are here. We're here. Pong Yasharala. Pong Yasharala. And the Bible, the Bible. The tabernacle of David is being raised up from the ashes, from the graves of the earth, and reborn. Pong Yasharala. And the Bible, the Bible. A rock of thunder. Shalom. Man, my headline is jacked up. Goodness. Shalom.